Our first speaker is Professor Marianne Case from the University of Chicago. So I will be speaking about COVID and egalitarian Catholic women's movements. And I'm grateful to the organizers for scratching a few points and in including me. Uh, this is a, a symposium on uh, law, religion, and the coronavirus in the United States. And because I am talking about the Catholic Church, I am not focused on the United States, but on the universal church. I'm glad to see I was not alone uh, in this. And the law I'm focused on is also not US law, but uh, canon law. And I'm uh, motivated to do this because coronavirus comes at a time in egalitarian women's uh, movements within the church where they are increasingly turning to rights claims uh, to formulate what they have long wanted. Uh, they're demanding equal voting rights, they're demanding equal access to the offices uh, and uh, uh, of the church. So um, I begin my blog post uh, with Pope Francis's injunction in his March 27th uh, Urbi et Orbi uh, message that the coronavirus is, quote, not the time of God's judgment, but of our judgment, a time to choose what matters and what passes away, a time to separate what is necessary from what is not. And then I use the rest of the post to um, examine what on the one hand the women and on the other hand the clergy and the institutional church have chosen to accent uh, as necessary. I structure my post around two uh, video images. Uh, one is of Pope Francis in the aforementioned uh, Urbi at Orbi uh, message standing alone in St. Peter's Square flanked by an icon and a crucifix and only a handful of male clergy with even the voices singing behind him being only of men reminding us that the canon law uh, for a long time prohibited women's uh, singing uh, in church. And I contrast that with a series of uh, Catholic women's egalitarian Zoom sessions that I personally experienced as an observer uh, over the course uh, of COVID. And the, 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 the image to contrast with Pope Francis alone in the fenced off St. Peter's Square is uh, an image very familiar to all of us now of hundreds of tiny little Zoom checkerboard faces of women and men of all ages um, and uh, conditions from all around the world gathered together to celebrate what amounts to an alternate liturgical year that focuses on um, the classic moments of the Catholic liturgical year, uh, like uh, Easter and Pentecost, but focuses on them with a special eye toward women's contributions to these events and to salvation history. And then uh, a series of Zoom events focused on women's feast days, the newly instituted Feast of St. Mary Magdalene, for example, uh, or the Feast of- oh, Sorry, Saint Professor Saint Case, your time is up. So you just, just one more sentence, please. Uh, and I then uh, look at the way in which what the church has announced in um, the past year uh, with respect to uh, baptism needing to be uh, I rather than we, uh, and um, the title of the encyclical Fratelli Tutti, uh, increasing the, decreasing the likelihood that people will come back uh, once the churches are uh, open.